No, say hi. As you're all aware, this channel is dedicated to meditation, concepts on meditation, techniques, and tips that could be useful for our meditation. It also promotes mental well-being, mental wellness that enables our mind to stay positive and healthy. And on today's video, we're going to be discussing some things that are very necessary to understand when we are in the pursuit of meditation, the practice of meditation. Two things uh, as factors play a very important role in meditation. First is your love for what you are doing and second is the belief. Belief can be put in different ways. It can be put in as faith, as devotion to what you are doing. So when we are meditating uh, or when we are practicing meditation, We've got to not look at it as a drudgery or as a very difficult thing to do which we have to somehow see through. We have to approach meditation in a very harmonious way, uh, something that we love doing, like many other things that we love. We love watching TV, we love going for a walk, we love meeting friends. We've got to cultivate the idea that meditation is something that we enjoy, something that uh, is dear to us. So this is love for meditation. Uh, the art of meditation itself is very interesting as you know because it is something uh, that is of a discovery, a discovery of your own mind and anything that is discovery oriented is always interesting. It's just that uh, the whole idea of being with ourselves and not allowing our senses to run around makes us feel like it's a very laborious process but it's not. Once you get a hang of it uh, with uh, dealing with your own mind and trying to calm it down, trying to regulate it, trying to bring it into a flow, trying to concentrate it, you will realize that uh, the journey itself is so interesting of meditation. This is what you mean by love for meditation. Second thing that we need to have for a successful meditation is the belief that meditation is going to bring about a change. It is a scientific fact. It is not like a belief that I ask you to do uh, thinking that it is something that you just want to put it in your head that something's going to happen. It's not like that. It's a fact. But that fact needs to be backed by belief. It is not that by you not having a belief, your meditation will not bring about an effect. It will bring about an effect because it is a conscious process that brings about a conscious change in you. But by having the belief in us, what it does is it makes your meditation interesting and you get to know at every step of the way what is happening to you, how you're growing, how you're developing. So when you have belief that the mind is going to get better, that you are going to get more and more connected within yourself and when you do meditation, the fruit of meditation or the effect of meditation has been proven to be far more decisive and far more true, it does make a huge impact in us. To add a little bit to this idea, uh, there, is, there are three things we have to be very careful when we are meditating and you just have to hear it and try to see how much you can implement it in your lives. The first thing is physical laziness. So we have to be extremely alert to not allow physical laziness to stem out of us and to get the better out of us. Physical laziness is something like when we are not watchful of our tongue. That is we go on eating or we go on seeing something or we go on indulging in unhealthy food just because we are just letting the senses free. See the senses have their work, they do their work. You just have to know how much is necessary for your senses. This is all that's expected. And then you tell your mind to tell the body to say that this much is enough. Your indulgence till a limit where it's necessary is enough and beyond that it should not be done. This way you do not allow your uh, body to just do whatever it wants to do. This is a practice that we have to be at it. We have to know how much exactly do we need for the body, for the organs and their objects like how much do we need to hear, how much do we need to see, how much do we need to eat. Eating has a direct effect on our mind. So when we eat unhealthy food, excessive food, uh, just because of fatigue or because of mental laziness, it really tells upon our mind. 
The second thing that we have to watch out for is mental laziness. Mental laziness is to allow the mind to drift and just be in its own world all the time. See, I understand we need mental breaks, which is fine, but do not allow the mind to not be in your control, which means you have to always watch out to see if the mind is firstly just going on daydreaming, secondly, the mind slipping down and going into negative thoughts. So this also you have to ensure that it doesn't go there because you leave the mind idle first it starts to rest then it starts to just indulge and daydream fantasize and it starts to watch something that promotes its fantasizing and then finally it slips to a beaker state in all of this you have to ensure that your mind doesn't go beyond a limit that you cannot handle so you have to be aware that this much is the break i need it's fine now i keep my mind watchful and alert a spiritual laziness is basically you need to have an ideal when we say spiritual here we need we mean meditation right and you need to have an ideal a life without an ideal where we just get up go to work go about our things and not even say why we're doing it what's the purpose of it gives about uh, uh, brings about a laziness of the spirit spirit is the most indwelling element in us that is the most powerful which means that we have to keep our ideal of our spirit up the spirit is always to be charged and that is charged when it has an ideal meditation is a great ideal which means that my ideal is that which is devoted to having a calm focused powerful vigorous mind and that which is for my own that which is dedicated for my own evolution and progress so when we have these three things intact that's the physical body much under our control, the mental uh, world much within our awareness and the spiritual world always electrified by an ideal. Meditation becomes very vigorous and powerful. Even if you're not there, let us make little, take little steps to ensure that we get better at it and that we strengthen uh, these aspects in us. We do teach a lot of meditation and if you're interested, you can always get in touch with us and learn how to meditate. Uh, this is a special video for having crossed 500 subscribers who have been listening to us on YouTube. So I uh, hope you all have been, been benefited by the videos and please get in touch if there is anything. The website address is there in the description. You can get a glimpse of the work we do. And uh, please do practice meditation and get in touch if there's any doubt. Thank you for your time. Thank you.